here's the uh, first lure. We'll try out with the black and red because the color of the water is beautiful, purple. Let's try that out. Very important to have a nice tight drag. Everything set just right. Too loose of a drag won't hook the fish, too tight of a drag usually, once they get way out, ends up ripping the hook out of her mouth. So you try to get it set at, I like the 18 to 20 pound range. Whether it's the wire, which is old school, or the monofilament, which is also old school nowadays. Um, we're going to set out another side there. You try to have a good count. The whole idea is to get all your lures set up so it looks like a school. You got two underneath, two on top. And if you got six rods, you fish another two there around south, so it's like a kind of a diamond shaped pattern. Today we're going to start with three, just test out a new boat, so we'll see what we can do. You guys probably aren't used to seeing the old school star drags. Nowadays you're looking at the lever drags, but for wire line, these reels are the best because they hold up to the corrosion and they're just well, low gear ratio, have to be able to crank them out a lot better too. Try and get them set up now where you have to school back there in just the right pattern so you get a strike you're able to get maybe a double or triple out of it um, at the moment like i said it's a new boat for me so i'm adjusting to the you know you want the clarity of the water you got a lot of wake back there and uh, whitewash so you want to be able to adjust for it where it need be to get the bites all right we're starting now we got here at about i guess 11 o'clock not sure what time it is right now but the outgoing tide just started not too long ago so we're going to try out in front of Fimini and work our way towards cat because uh, this time of year, a lot of times the bait will get pushed up onto uh, the cat area or bimini right out front. So we'll fish the outgoing tide this afternoon, check this area out. And we have a small front coming tomorrow, so if we don't do well here, generally when you get the wind out of the northwest to north, Isaacs is better because it pushes the bait up onto the edge. And then it also will be a late time or late morning bite as well tomorrow. So hopefully it will work out in our favor in both sections and we'll be a hero today. Um, when you're waiting for a wahoo bite, obviously you can see how fast we're going. You're going to just sit here and be in a daze, and all of a sudden you're going to hear the reel screaming. Because we're going so fast that when they latch on, it's going to set the hook right away and start screaming. The first thing you want to do is, depending on how good of a boat driver you have, you can either speed up the boat, because generally they'll help you get other strikes as well, or you can have whoever's fishing you run over and start cranking on the opposite rod that's not having fish on it and just work the rods because sometimes you just keep going for a little longer you'll get that second third even sometimes a fourth fish i mean the most i've ever had on it once myself was six and that's just working everything together that's the whole idea you get everything zipping through the edge there and it produces fish and doubles and triples are not uncommon once the fish is on generally these fish like to run straight out and depending on which way you turn they're going to turn the opposite way to head offshore or inshore depending on which way you're turning when they're doing that, you want to stay on that rod really good, keeping it tight at all times. Because if you don't, sometimes they'll turn around and start racing towards the boat, and you can still shake that hook out, even though at this speed, you would think the hook is set perfectly. And the only time is if it gets hooked in that bone in their roof is when they won't come off. But if they get hooked in the sides, you know as well as I do, they shake their heads enough, make that hole bigger, hook slides right on out. So you want to keep it tight at all times. If, it, if you can crank faster, crank faster. If you can't, just take your time. And that's why some of these low gear ratio the reels are perfect because you can only go one speed anyways and it's just generally perfect. I like to start out marking a line where I'm at so when you start getting bites you can let it out to the exact same spot at all times because once you figure out the spot that the rods need to be it's very very important that they go back in the same spot. Even if you're off by four or five feet it makes a big difference when you're trying to generate a school back there and get your bites. Uh, every once in a while you want to make sure that the lures are clean, you know, whether there's weed around, plastic bags, anything that's just floating, because sometimes they'll snag on the stuff and create drag. So what I generally do is, like, on your rigger baits, you wind them up, this, most of the time you can see them pop and see if there's weed on them, but for the, the lead ones, you can actually feel the difference in weight by pulling on it. If you get really good at it, you can fish a lot, you can feel a difference in weight. When it's heavier, obviously, it's got weed on it, if it's about the same, it's about, it's okay. That saves on time of bringing it out. And uh, if you're doing that, a lot of times, as you know as well, I do you catch fish from baits in the water. Here you go, 
Keep going! 